All right, guys, welcome back to some more MLB 9 21 content. And today we're going to be playing some League Mass mode. Yes, we're actually going to be playing the last game of the World Series again. I figured out what was causing all the glitchiness in the recording. Like I said, it wasn't on my screen. It was in the recording. I don't know why. So I'm pretty sure I figured it out, and we're going to be playing it again today. And then after we do that, we're going to try and see what Diamond Grave War Player we get from um, completing the League Master Mode season. And then we will do some updates on where I'm at in terms of like pick them and all that stuff as well at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So in League Master Mode 2021 World Series, we are playing the Boston Red Sox. We're up 3-0. We're going for a sweep. We haven't swept yet in terms of League Master Mode World Series. So hopefully my edit can shut them down and we can get some hits and some home runs in this gameplay. But I want to show you guys the stats real quick. This season we were 134 and 28, one of my better seasons on 2021 League Master Mode with my team. But I want to show you guys this. This is the first guy I've seen get above 300 in terms of average in League Master Mode in any of the seasons I've played. Corey Seager got 301, and then Betts had 68 home runs, and then Bellinger's there at 42, along with Seager. But my goodness, he went off. And then my pitchers right here. Um, Kershaw 27-1, Grinky 25-0, Wood 27-1, what I expect. Looking good right there, and Kershaw led the lead, well, the top three pitchers are my pitchers. Obviously, they should be. I, I get that, guys. I just want to show you guys this. Kershaw with 283, looking good right there. So, let's go for our first sweep in 2021, and hopefully we get a good Diamond Grape reward player in this one. All right, guys, so here we go. Game four of the World Series, going for a sweep. We're going to be playing offense only. Depending on how we do, we will sim probably the end of the game depending on where we're at but let's get to start off with Grandal leading this game off baby let's do this thing we are back and we're playing some more league master mode for you guys again we're actually playing it so let's see i'm going to play it kind of how i played club mode i will take pictures and stuff for you guys it might be a longer video though my my goal in club mode is to take it until i get two strikes um you guys have been saying why why are you swinging every pitch well i'll play how you want me to play in club mode it just might be a longer game and it's working out so far Grandall walks to start this off so i'll take it i'll take it next up we got red bearded wonder jt up and once we get two strikes we'll have Grandall run in and he has not thrown a strike yet five straight balls to start this game off let's see all right there's his first strike um let's see if he if he can do it two times in a row can he and he does, he does. So we'll get Grandall going, and we're swinging on two strikes. So I play it, so. Fouled that one off. We're going to keep him running, though. I don't care. I don't care. He's got 100 speed. Oh, we struck out. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if the game lagged or what, but wow. We just got a double play right there. Jfish is down bad right now. That did not look good, guys. I can I cannot lie. I don't know how I didn't hit that curveball. I... Uh, I don't know if I got distracted by the runner or what, but man, that that was uh that was rough. So that was a double play right there. We got to make contact on that right there. Whew. With 100 speed though, he's still out. Like, does the catcher have that much of can in this game? But there's another walk. So Belly's on right here with two outs. That brings up Betts. Maybe we can get something here. Betts probably my second, not probably. He is my second best player in the lineup um, behind Belly. So let's see. Let's see. See if we can make up for that uh, big mistake just a few few seconds ago. So, Belly has 119 speed. I didn't even realize that. Holy cow! Card's insane. Nah, we we we're not going on 3-0. We're gonna make you walk bets too. This guy's struggling to throw strikes to start this off. Another walk. All right, I guess I I guess if you're gonna walk anyone, make it bets and Belly with two outs. But that brings up Seager now. Um, not the best skills in Seager, but either way. I mean, if he if he loads the bases up, I mean, this could get out of hand fast. I know we have two outs, but man, he is struggling. I want to know the balls to strike ratio right now. So, oh, that, that honestly should have been strike. So another 3-0 count. This guy is really struggling today. There is another strike finally. All right, let's see. Let's see. All right, so he finally got a, a full count. Let's see if we strike out here again or not. And we're not going to. That'll get down. That'll score. Bellinger for sure might get bets in too. I don't. I wouldn't. You know what? He's fast enough. That's why we get him running right there. That's why we get him running. Seager with the with a two out double we got two RBIs right there. What I'm talking about, baby. What I'm talking about. I don't feel as bad about that JT strikeout double play. And I didn't even wait right there, guys. I'm throwing you guys a curveball. That'll get the run in too. All right, a three nothing to start. Maya, I, I I just need you to not give up three runs. Give up two runs and I'm cool. 
Dodger. That's all we need. So Blackman's up next. Let's see what Blackman's gonna do here. All right, all right. So he started the, he started the count off with the strike. I, I mean, that's unusual for this guy. And then, as you know it, there comes another ball. He, he's really struggling tonight. So, all right, let's see. Let's see. Get Dozier running. Two strike count, and we're going to pop that one up out to center. But I'll take three runs in this one. Two out rally right there. Two out rally. I cannot lie. And Maeda shuts him down again. Looking pretty good to start this one off. We got Muncie leading this off the live card right here. He's looking beautiful right there with that power and eye as well. Let's see if we get Walk to lead off this inning as well. And that's going to be low. Okay, okay. I'm liking that. Common theme right here. He, he likes to start off with the balls, and I don't know why. All right, so 2-1. Two, 2-1. One, two, one. Am I feeling another Walk here? Nah, we're going to be swinging here. 2-2 two, two count. Let's see. And that'll get through. That'll be down the third baseline. That should be a double with his speed as well. Yeah, that's easy money right there. Double to start this one off. I like getting in scoring position like that. Let's go, baby. And that'll bring up Maeda. So we'll probably bunt here for sure. That'll get him to third. Perfect. Perfect bunt by Maeda. We didn't pop it up. That's what I was really hoping would not happen. And now we got Grandal back up with one out. Come on, baby. Let's do our thing, Grandal. Let's do our thing. Hmm. Okay. Okay. He's coming right at us. He's coming right at us. And there's another ball. He, he just cannot throw two strikes in a row to start the count off. All right, so one, two count, though. I, I mean, all right, let's see what we do here with Grindall. And that'll get through as well. That's another run. And now we have Grindall on first with one out. Let's go, baby. Four nothing. I don't even know if we'll have to play the third inning at this point. I think four runs should be sufficient. I might have jinxed it. We'll knock on wood. But let's not strike out with JT here. Let's not strike out with that because that was embarrassing. I'm sorry, GT. I'm sorry I made you look bad. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I, I just I, I'm surprised that Grandall got thrown out. It still doesn't make sense to me that he got thrown out with a hundred speed. So all right, he dotted up the corner right there. I'll give him props. I'll give him props. And we're gonna foul that one off. I think that's what we did. I think we fouled off a pitch with, with Turner and then struck out on the next one. And that's not gonna be a strikeout. That's gonna be a foul ball as well. They're teasing me with that nice animation, but it's it's foul, so. And that's going to be a ground ball. Not going to be two, though. Not going to be two. We move Grand all over. Now two outs. Belly up. Can Belly do something here? Let's see. Let's see. Come on, Belly. All right, all right. He started off with a strike. That's unusual for this guy. And then, he, of course, he leads it up with the ball. Come on, come on. All right. Now, honestly, I don't want him to walk him. This is my best batter right here. Let me swing away with him. Sweet. We'll get Grandall running with two outs. Let's see. And that is going to be a ground ball out to shortstop. I think with four runs, we can simulate pretty much the rest of this game. So let's see. Let's see. I think we're good enough with four runs. I'm, just, I'm crossing my fingers. Come on, Maya. I know you can hold him down here. I think four runs should be enough, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. Muncie ugh, could not score him. I kept him at third. We gotta get him in there. All right, so might have gave up a run in the fifth, but still looking pretty good. We got one back in the in the fifth as well. Man, we gotta get this sweep. We gotta get this sweep. Come on, Maeda's. I have to say he's he's playing strong. Two two hits, one run. I'm liking it, Maeda. I'm proud of you. You're, you're showing out today. So we haven't done really anything since the fifth, but Maeda closes that out. Let's go, baby. We got the sweep there. That is looking beautiful for sure. Man, so Maeda pitched great, and honestly, after that first inning with the double play, I was a little bit worried, but we, we got that two-out rally there. So we got the dub there, our first sweep in League Master Mode. Um, not really something I should really be that excited about, but it is nonetheless. So let's go ahead and see the League Grade Reward Player we get. Um, we got to Grade 3 this time. We haven't gotten to Grade 3 before. We were able to, to auto-play a few of these games, but... Um, it's still not a super high chance to get a prime or vintage at grade three. So we're going to take this with a grain of salt. Let's see what happens here in three, two, one, see what we can get. And nothing really good right here for sure. Probably Mancini is who I would go with. Um, he has the down arrow and Guriel has the up arrow and he's only 79. Let's look at the skills. Mancini. Yeah. I mean, with the stats and stuff, I think I got to go Mancini. 
I mean, that power is looking pretty decent as well. And then I'm not gonna go with, uh, I'm not gonna go with Austin. So we're gonna go with Mancini here. One of these weeks, I am gonna try and autoplay a ton and try to get to at least grade five or get to some of the um, overachievement uh, grades. But I, I just haven't had time yet. Possibly here soon though. So I, I understand that guys, like I said, with grade three, I'm not gonna have as good of a chance to, uh, to get a, a vintage or prime player so we are i think this is what the sixth or seventh time we did it still no vintage or prime player yet but either its way i'm cool with it we got the sweep and now let's go ahead and do the update part of the video okay guys so for this update part of the video i'm not even going to be showing you guys pick them and the reason is because i've just been forgetting to pick ever since i lost that 13 day streak it's just my motivation for it hasn't been the same um and i think it's too late now to get the gi i'm on a one day streak and it's just, it's not been the same. There's always next season though, but let's go ahead and show you arcade mode. I've had my best arcade mode ever this week. So we got gold one. We were, when I got it, I was diamond three, I believe. And we were like 60 something ranked in, in all of nine innings. And obviously we've dropped down to gold one since then. Cause that was on like Tuesday or Wednesday. So obviously we were able to get better scores, but we're still gold one. We're ranked 150 and we are level 76. Um, so we have 12 days left to get 24 levels. That'll be easy money. Sure to get the diamond pack, but let's go ahead and show you where I was at top, uh, 101 to top 2%, but I can show you guys the stats for this week. It was really, really good. Barbara's difference was 559, which is not the longest I've had with Bellinger, but we had 31 combo was the highest with 29 home runs and we got 4.17 million, which is by far the best I've had. The before that it was like two point something million. No, no, it was 3.1 million. So we beat our score by 4.1. This pitcher doesn't have a change up this week, so it made it so much easier, just a curveball. And it was one of those ones where it was like fastball, 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 and then curveball, and then it was literally just fastballs the rest of the time. I don't I don't believe I missed the pitch, and I had missed prevention on, so even I did, it didn't matter. So uh, really good on arcade mode. I was really excited about that this week. And then we'll go ahead and show you club mode. I think that's the only other thing I'll really update you guys on because there's not much more that you guys have missed. So for the club whiplash, um, we've had a lot of movement and stuff like that. And it turns out that war machine and whiplash are being separated out. Um, war machine, one of the leaders, I guess, um, left because he's just super busy with life. So what we're doing, we're taking our, the best teams from whiplash putting them in War Machine, that's gonna be like the number one. Um, Cause it, I mean, War Machine always has been, but we're taking teams from this as well, combining them, whatever's left of War Machine. And then Whiplash is looking for, I think seven to eight people. So if you need a club, reach out to, um, reach out to Whiplash, apply for Whiplash because they need seven or eight teams and it's still gonna be a pretty decent club. But um, like I said, we just have restructuring stuff. So that's where we're at in terms of this. Um, I believe I will be on War Machine. I will not be in Whiplash anymore. But like I said, Whiplash, still a great club. Even after the restructuring, if you wanna apply, go ahead and send a, um, an, an application to Whiplash to join that club. But let's go ahead and show you club battle. This uh, this one today was pretty pretty easy sauce. We, uh, we were five and zero. Oh. Let's show you guys the uh, the match record this week. So we were we, we struggled a little bit this week. Uh, we had we had two hard pretty hard teams, especially I believe or clubs. I especially I believe on Manual Wednesday we were 16, seven and two. But uh, challenge this week it went really really well for me. I think this is the best challenge um, week I've had. So let me show you guys this. I, I get it. I get it. Come on. Um, so we were, our OPS was 750, which I believe is my highest. And then my whip was 0.44, which I believe is ties my lowest. So we had a really good week in terms of club challenge. And besides that, there's not really much for me to update you on the club besides those two things right there. Like I said, if you want to be a part of whiplash, send an, um, send an application to it and then they can go from there. Like I said, they're looking for seven to eight people. So there's a chance you could get into whiplash. But besides that, I'm going to stop rambling on. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. With that said, I'll see you guys next time.